for the first time since 2015 on Sunday. And Mike Tomlin said his team is going to stay the course. Man, we're not going to push the panic button. What do I mean by the panic button? You know, we're not going to dramatically change who and what we are at this juncture. Um, we're not resisted to change for the purposes of getting better. But we're not going to be so unsteady that we move away from our compass, the identity that we want to work hard to develop and, and the emphasis on a style of play, whatever that may be in all three phases. Mm, far be it for me to question Mike Tomlin, who has never had a losing season. Right. But whatever you're doing this season is not working. Well, organizationally, let me support Tomlin. Did Tomlin want Ben back? Well, I mean, no. But, but I mean, will we ever know that? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I don't know that if Tomlin wanted him back. If we you, don't know if he wants. If him back. you are this bad at quarterback, there's nothing Tomlin can do. That's I. I I'm going to give Mike a but, pass on. No, this. no, no. I'm not putting this on Tomlin. Yeah. I'm saying that they absolutely need to change what they're doing. Yeah. They can't run the ball. They have major injuries on defense. Ben looks old. And they're asking him to throw it. The one thing that they do need to change is they're asking him to throw it 50 times a game. Yeah. It's not it's not reasonable. Now I understand you can't run the ball, so what 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 can you really do? But it's not like what is what is frustrating about the Steelers is this is not surprising. You can't predict injuries. Okay, we all know all that right, everyone's right. gonna have injuries, but you you can't plan your season around like, well, you know, TJ Watt's gonna get injured in week two. We don't know that. Obviously, but you knew that Ben had limitations, despite the fact that he's coming in saying that he lost weight and he's in the best yeah. shape of his life. Like it, it doesn't matter. He's still Ben at this point in his career. Right. If he's one percent better than he was last year, okay, you still need to prepare accordingly. Yeah. So they have some real problems. They pace and it doesn't get any easier because now they have the Packers in Green Bay this weekend. They're currently favored by six and a half. So things could get from bad to worse really quickly, depending on how that game goes. So the Colts and Marlon Mack have mutually agreed to seek a trade, according to NFL Network's Tom Pelosero. You reported yeah. it yesterday. Yeah. had a great rookie season. But Jonathan Taylor has taken over yeah. as the starter, and the contract extension of Naeem Hines has, you know, kind of yeah. sent this into yeah, motion. Yeah, I mean, that, but this is what we talked about when the Rams lost Cam Akers. Yeah. Running back is one of those positions at the trading deadline. There's going to be, like, there's players. Um, Marlon Mack's a nice player. He's more a two. But, you know, it's Sony Michelle. You absolutely can be productive. Listen, Jonathan Taylor is big time. So to be a backup to Jonathan Taylor is not a crime. Like this, Marlon Mack can play. Uh, he's not spectacular. He doesn't catch the ball like one back or run like the other. Right. But this is a great opportunity for a team. There's teams out there right now that that need. I'll tell you a team that would be interesting. I'm not sure if they'd get him. Carolina with McCaffrey's now recent injury history. Or, by the way, a Pittsburgh, which has one back in Najee just, Harris. That, that we just talked about, yeah. who is uh, the wor have the worst rushing yeah. offense in the league right now. Now, the Colts haven't really been electric running the ball so far this year either. They're 19th yeah. in rushing yards per game and 13th in rushing average per game. So they're around, they're around the middle of the league as far as rushing goes, so they need to get that going as well. But, yeah, somebody will be able to pick him up and he'll contribute. Good stuff. Joy with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Live.